In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can check a foundation to see if it's square. And of course, we're going to use squares to do this. And I'm going to provide you with a few different illustrations and hopefully it makes sense. Basically, what we're going to be doing is assuming that everything is going to be 90 degrees. This will only work with 90 degree angles and uh, squares or rectangles. Basically, what you're going to do is measure diagonally each side and make sure that these measurements are exactly the same. If you have a square or a rectangle, then you will be able to measure the uh, angles diagonally. So this would be as shown in the pictures here, you know, from the upper edge of one corner to the lower edge of the opposite corner. Now, if these measurements are not correct, then you would know that the foundation is not going to be square. And sometimes you can actually compensate for it if it's off a little bit. But if it's off too much, like let's just say that you have a foundation that's 40 foot by 30 foot and you're off an inch, this is going to be hard to compensate. I'm not suggesting it's going to be impossible, but um, without knowing whether or not the building foundation slab is actually square, and this is the whole reasoning behind the video, the whole purpose for it, you're not going to be able to create a square home. So hopefully you hire a contractor or you understand the principle of this before you start building a house or framing a house on top of a concrete slab. Now let's take a look at another example. For example, we're not, we're not, we don't have a square. We don't have a rectangle anymore. We now have two squares and we are going to use these squares and we could actually have more squares here depending on what you're looking at and it might make more sense what I'm talking about at the end of the video but we are going to start with two squares here take the shape that you have and break it into squares and then check these squares to see if they are perfect um, if the angles are the measurements are perfect and uh, or not and again you can use this for different shapes you're just going to have to get a little creative on how you go about figuring these uh, shapes out and which ones you're actually going to use. Now, let's go to another uh, more complicated shape. And the more complicated the shapes you have, the more squares or rectangles you're actually going to find inside of them, um, again, with a little creativity. Here's uh, basically two squares. And again, we can use these squares to figure out the rest of the building to see if it's actually square or not. So for example, if we start with the largest rectangle in the center, we can actually just measure from the other parallel lines on the project to figure out whether or not um, the rest of the building is square. Here are four squares. We've split the building up, but this is what I'm referring to. You're going to be able to use the box in the center. The largest, I would start with the largest box, largest rectangle, largest square you have in the building. And then simply, which, would, which the blue arrow is pointing to, and then you're simply going to use the, those lines as guides. To, um, to figure out whether or not the rest of the building is square. And um, of course, if it's, when it's square, if you start with a square or a rectangle and you simply measure from that, this would be the distances with, that the black arrow would represent, but of course you're gonna go in either direction. Um, once you start with a square, then you're basically going to have parallel lines off of that. So even if the building is a little off, you're going to be able to adjust the square in the center. And you're going to have to tweak it just a little bit and hopefully your anchor bolts and your plumbing, um, again, this will determine whether or not you would actually be able to make a building square that was not square to begin with. 
Um, again, if you're off just a little bit, you're going to be able to compensate for these measurements. If you're off a lot, um, then you're going to be in trouble. And you could probably throw all the information out of this uh, video because, um, you know, most of the time the plumbing won't line up. The uh, electrical, anything that you have, your anchor bolts, your structural hardware, that might not line up once the, if, if you're trying to make everything square um, from a foundation that is not square already. So I hope that makes sense. Here's another set of boxes. We basically have three or four boxes depending on what you're looking at, rectangles here. And of course, here we have four boxes. And again, I'm just kind of just throwing some examples out there, giving you uh, some ideas on what you can do with, uh, to help you with what you're working with currently because obviously this shape isn't going to fit every single um, home built. Now you're not always going to be confined to the inside of a building. You can always go outside of the building as shown in the example here. Um, simply create a reference point from your square or rectangle. So I should have put the other measurement in on the other side we have a 25 foot measurement and we could just assume it's a 25 foot by 25 foot square. This is actually what you're going to be creating with your measurements and then checking it. And don't be surprised, like I said, uh, you could be off a, a half inch or quarter of an inch and this is all something you could compensate for, um, especially in larger buildings. So uh, don't uh, think that you can't. And, and this could be compensated in a variety of different ways, but that's not the reason for this video. I'm just kind of providing you with different examples of ways that you can check different shapes. Okay, the last illustration here is basically the foundation. If you were to go all the way to the outside, you could form a rectangle. So um, there are, like I said, you have inside squares you can use and you have outside squares that you can use to check the overall um, uh, shape of the building to make sure that it is square. So that's it for this video. Uh, sometimes I get a little carried away. What can I say? This will be another eight minute video if I keep going. I hope it helps. If it does, um, hit, me old, hit the old thumbs up button every once in a while. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area. And you can always leave questions that you have for other um, videos, I mean, or other, you know, if, if you're watching this video and you get a question that uh, something else, feel free to leave it in the, in the comment area here. You don't got to find a video and I will answer that, uh, answer them as soon as possible. And don't forget, and this is something that I really, have, I really don't talk about, but YouTube, the usually, you know, they're, they're not going to, uh, they don't send me every comment. So if you have something you really need answered, um, feel free to, to get my email address off of gregvan.com. Go to the contact area, get that, and then send it to me. So it's not always going to be my fault if I don't uh, get these uh, uh, questions answered all the time. So that's it. Um, stay tuned for the next video, and we will see you later.